Hello, everyone. You, too, can have a podcast. You have a passionate voice. You want to be heard. You can be inspiration to others. And it is super easy. You all know that I am not technical. So just download the Anchor app on your phone or go to anchor.fm and get started sharing your voice and inspiring the world. Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power, and hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. The world just laughs at us Christians looking to God to forgive us. Seriously repenting of our sins, they think, is absolutely hysterical. I know this because I was a worldly person. I used to look at Jesus' people as freaks. You know the ones. And I'm not pointing or calling any names here, but there are some super intense different people, just like there's super intense different people in all walks of life, right? But I want us to remember that we choose into sin and we choose out of sin. Period. End of discussion. So what are you going to choose? Because that's the conversation I want to have with everyone today. Because unfortunately, we like to make a lot of excuses. I'm only doing this because of the stress. I'm only doing this because this person just pushes every button on me. I'm doing this because I'm doing this behind my closed doors and nobody needs to know and I'm keeping it to myself. I'm doing this because I like it. I can't stop. And if we keep doing things because of (laughs) <laughs> it's, um, I heard the other day, a butt Catholic. Not B-U-T-T. It's the people who say, I'm Catholic, but. I believe in abortion. My body, my choice. I'm Catholic, but I think birth control is the way to go. Forget that family planning stuff. It's always us choosing what we want to do. And sometimes we're desperate to get rid of a sin, and other times we're not that desperate. So it's really a matter of choice. We choose into sin, and we choose out of sin. I can remember going to confession over and over and over again. And by the way, I still do this. But at this time, this was a mortal sin I was struggling with. And there were times when I knew the minute I walked out of that confessional, I was probably going to do it again. And honestly, I'm not sure if that confession really took, even though I was repentant, in the back of my mind, I was kind of like, I don't know, I got this thing coming up. I'm probably pretty sure I'm going to do that again. Everything starts with a choice, and we have thousands of choices a day to make. 
we're not going to make the right choice every single time. But if we approach choices in this way, that I'm going to share with you in a minute, we are going to be able to choose our way out of sin. There's a big difference how you handle situations that come your way. And I'm going to tell you this. It's all up to you. There are no excuses. It's nobody else. Because only you control you. Even God cannot control you. He gives us free will. Satan cannot control us. He can't even hear our thoughts. He just seduces us and entices us and pulls us along until we choose to do it. I think that's one of the things in this world that people who live in the world don't slow down and pay attention. There are consequences of our eternal place of living based on every choice we make. And the more that we keep eternity in today, you know how I always say, oh, stay in today. Don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about the past. But if you think about eternity all day, every day, and where you are going to go as you're passing through this, honestly, this life that sometimes seems like hell. I mean that in a joking way, but I mean that in a real way. A lot of us have massive problems to deal with. But it's when we choose to make everything about God, when we choose to allow God to enter our hearts and choose to open our hearts for him to change them. We have to invite him in every day. Whether you have caught that or not, every single day we must renew our commitment, our humility, and asking God to come into our heart, into our life, to guide us, to lead us, to transform us, right? The whole holy army we pray to, including our guardian angels. But that is a daily thing. Everything needs to be done every single day. And that's another choice, everyone. Are you choosing to keep God the center of your life? Are you choosing to call out to him and be, <clears throat> excuse me, be a prayer warrior throughout the day? When you live in the spirit of God, there's pretty much nothing that's going to pull you down. When you have a beautiful morning where you give everything to God and you ask him to guide your ways and you feel joyful, you feel less stressed out because guess what? You've asked the only one in the world, in the universe, in the heavens and on earth who can help you. Now, once you do that in the morning, continue to call out for his help. Continue to thank him. Remember, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. How often do we do that? But it's our duty. It's our salvation. None of us really do that all day, every day. So that's another thing that we should be doing. Because as we choose to fill God into our mind, our body, our soul, our spirit, when we choose to ingest information, whether it be through books and other forms of media, when we choose to fill ourselves with God, God's wisdom, his knowledge and understanding about our faith, everything will be easier. We know this. Jesus tells us, I am going to take this yoke with you and with me, your burden will be light. Because if you do this every day, every day it's going to get easier for you to be able to live with God, to live with purpose. And then when you're faced with that person 
or that situation or that temptation, you can stop and scream for God. You can remember you have this whole army and arsenal filled with weapons. You can start deliverance prayers. You can pray the Hail Mary. You can have sacramentals on you, rosary in your pocket. You've got crucifixes on your neck. You've got scapulars. You've got the Benedict bracelets. There's so many things that you can go to to remind you of the power of Jesus Christ in your life. We have to live differently. We cannot allow the world to let us think that our sins are not that big of a deal. I mean, we didn't kill anybody, right? I always say I did. I know I did. Not with my bare hands, not with a weapon, but with my birth control pill. I guarantee you, I killed babies. So yeah, I've committed every single sin. And the more you walk, the more you realize you need God's forgiveness. You need that beautiful sacrament of reconciliation. You want to be reconciled back with God. We should be seeking confession. You know how crazy life is when you don't go regularly. Or at least you know how crazy my life is when I don't go regularly. It's a choice, everyone. Let's ask God to help us choose him. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, come Holy Spirit. We need you to live holy lives. We can get pulled into this world and get sucked down into the muck and the mire where we could easily forget that we need to be sober and vigilant and aware and awake And we need you to remind us how much we can control this with you. All we have to do is make a choice, Lord, and we ask that you help us to convict our mind, body, soul, and spirit to this choice of holiness, to choosing you over this earth with these fleeting, stupid little things that are there for five minutes and gone forever, but they coat our soul in dirt and darkness. Help us remember how fleeting these things are and how shameful and disappointed we are in ourselves and how that stays with us for hours, days, Weeks until we run to you in reconciliation. So Lord, please fill our minds, our bodies, our souls with your spirit. The desire to do good, the desire to please you. Please outpour all of your gifts into our lives. Help us be the witnesses you want us to be. And help us make the right decisions to stop, pause, and pray. And wait for your grace to fill us. That courage to speak. The physical body able to walk away from whatever it is that is pulling us down to the eternal pit of hell. Remind us, Lord of eternity every day, and that every choice that we make either lays the groundwork for that stairway to heaven or opens up the highway to hell for us. And every single day, every choice we make, remind us that we take one step to heaven or one step to hell. It's either or. 
And please, Lord, help us commit to this choice so that we can finally be free of anger and resentment with relationships that aren't working, that we can finally be free from sin and the, and the shame and the regret and the pain and the self-hatred that comes with it, that we can take that extra step and learn how to build a relationship with you so that we can live with you every moment. Like Paul says, St. Paul says, incessantly pray every day. And we want that. So we give you our entire life today. Father, you loved us into existence. Thank you for the gift of your only begotten son, the sacred heart of Jesus that have changed so many of our lives. And we ask that you continue to grow our seeds and the water that we are putting in our own life. Lord, we talked about evangelizing yesterday, and we need ourselves to continue to be on fire, to to evangelize ourselves. So help us open our hearts to you today in a big way. Help us to choose out of sin every single chance we get. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Mary and Holy Spirit, guide us and lead us. Guardian angels, please protect us and help us hear the messages that we need to hear. All you holy angels and saints, Saint Joseph, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, and Jesus Christ our Savior, you are what it's all about. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Sorry, I'm going to let you go. But remember, when you make that choice, you're going to feel really stinking good about it. And you're going to have a new positive aspect of everything because you're going to be looking at God to help you. It's no longer you trying to do it yourself. And the more that you bring God into your problems, the easier they're going to be to solve and to put behind you. Because a lot of us sometimes solve them, put them behind us for a little bit. In the back seat, they're still in the car with us. I mean, they're literally going into the places that we're going. They're following us. They're going to our destinations. (laughs) And they're there. They're going to jump up any minute and say, when are we going to get there? And they'll start interjecting themselves back into your life. True transformation comes from God and God only. And it's about time that we all stop the madness, remember this, and act on it, right? I'm doing this for myself. I'm saying these podcasts as well for me. We need to choose out of sin. And we also can choose into sin. But if we have God, he's not going to choose us into sin. (laughs) If we are there talking to him, asking for his help and really meaning it, he's not going to leave us deserted. All right. I love you all. We need these reminders sometimes. We're in a new month. What are you doing this month? (laughs) I forgot. Right? Did you look at your last? My last month was a joke. I remember telling y'all that I was going to do this, this. Oh my gosh. Last month went by so fast. It was so crazy. Too much visiting with people and entertaining and partying. And so not that you have to start over every month. As a matter of fact, you start over every day. But I think months make a difference. You look at September and that's when kids are starting to go back to school. At least that's how we do it here in America because we have the summer off. And things are starting to find their routine again. If you have kids, you can even sense it if you don't have kids. Just the world changes. School buses are out. Things are happening. And people get back into a routine. Vacations are kind of shutting down. So perhaps this is the time where you can sit with yourself and be have this conversation with yourself. 
And be honest with yourself. We're so good at fooling ourselves. But God will tell you, yes, this is what you need to work on. And I can help you. And that's all you need to do. Or choose to stay in sin, which none of us want. Okay, I'm going to say one more thing. Darn it. <laughs> there are times when I sit and I listen to people who I coach. And if you need help coaching, reach out to me. If you need help with anything, right? Any aspect of your life, relationships, professional, maybe we're even looking to start a ministry. I can guide and lead you on that too. But a lot of times I would hear in some of my coaches, my, I'm sorry, some of my clients I was coaching, the that they sometimes were so filled with excuses, right? We can always blame it on something else. That's what the world does. It's very clever at helping us find reasons why we do things that we shouldn't do. We're human beings. We can rationalize anything. That's why God gives us free will. That's why Satan has complete free will with us. We choose to partner with Satan or partner with God. So I'm going to say I have heard all of the excuses. I have made all of the excuses. And that's the time when you need to have this conversation with yourself. It's not... Oh, Kendra's right. She's right. I should really do this. No, it's the Holy Spirit who's speaking through me to you. I'm not getting on your case. I love you, which is why I'm talking about this. I want you to choose God. I want me to choose God. This is just as much for me as it is for you. And we got to stop fooling ourselves, really. So when that next excuse comes up, choose to laugh at it and choose to pull God into it and then go move on. Oh, this journey is so crazy, isn't it? Isn't it amazing how every day is so different? Yet a lot seem to think it's so mundane. Nothing is mundane when you're constantly talking to God and you're constantly seeing him appear in your life and around you and in media and music and nature and everything and people. It's just so awesome. Okay, I'm leaving you alone. Have a blessed and inspired day and find something more with God. Choose out of sin. Have a blessed and inspired day.